In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the best money plays out of the Gun Bunch offense in Madden 23. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Also, if you want to get my full Gun Bunch offensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. That's where you can get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. We've got over nine offenses and defenses available right now, including the Gun Bunch offense. And in this tip, we're going to be using the New England Patriots playbook. However, our Gun Bunch offensive ebook is out of the Steelers playbook and this play is actually in both playbooks and that's why I wanted to do a video on this because it's really truly one of the better bunch plays in the game this year so we're just going to show you this against all kinds of different coverages including man-to-man -man, and how this can be one of the best man-to-man -man plays with a, sim a simple adjustment that a lot of people are starting to shift to in this game so the play is corner strike and the reason corner strike is so powerful is because essentially it is going to give you a high low read on the left side of the field and a high low read on the right side of the field that's it that's the main reason why this play is so good and against a heavy blitz let's say for example that your opponent is going to send a lot of pressure at you this is going to kind of force them to play kind of a specific type of deal and the beauty of the corner strike play is by just simply streaking the slot receiver they're oftentimes going to be out leveraged to the flat with the quick tight end flat route the other beauty of this play is that you can snap the ball really quickly out of this as well and then it also comes stock with one of the best routes in man 23 the C route. Now I do want to say real quickly that if you have an outside apprentice, I want to show you something about this specific C route. So if you look to the left side of the screen, you're going to see my C route um, or my um, you know post corner post, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but basically just this simple you know C route uh, to the left side. Uh, and then what you're going to see here is that I am going to put him on a corner route out of the outside apprentice. And what you should notice is that this route is going to be more rounded to the outside. Now, why would this be helpful? Well, you'll see that this more rounded C route will do a better job of being able to be more consistent at beating man-to-man -man coverage. So if you watch this a couple times, you will see that this C route on the left side, once he cuts to the outside, I can throw that with an outside pass lead. And you see that I can fit that into a nice little window. However, with the regular C route that comes stock on this play, it's a little sharper. And normally this would be better, but as you see here, they're able to kind of stop this. It's gonna require a really good user catch for you to be able to make this catch. It's really not super consistent. So what I like to do is have outside apprentice on that outside receiver, and then that way we can do this right here. And what you'll see is again, this is just gonna be a lot more consistent at being able to get over the top of man coverage. It's gonna force them to have to have a safety over there, or it's gonna force them to play a cover three defense, which we're gonna show you what's gonna happen when that happens here in just a second. But again, you see that that C route is really a key route on this play. Now let's say that they play cover three, right? And this is a great adjustment. A lot of people will make this. They're just gonna simply outside third this guy. Now a lot of times this is gonna be out of a blitz look out of dollar, of course. So let's say that they are sitting some pressure. As you can notice right here, their user is gonna be in kind of a tough spot because their user basically has to kind of work to the left side of the screen. Well, the beauty of corner strike here is that the C route, if they go to the running back, you'll see there, you see how the running back is wide open. So if they don't defend the running back if they don't make an effort to you know defend the running back if they're going to run that version where they're putting the outside third uh, out there out of the dollar defense then what you can see here is we're going to be able to attack the flats really quickly on both sides of the field and we can easily just take a couple yards with our running back this is also really good if your opponent is running some type of cover two defense on the right or left. Really, the corner strike play as a whole is going to do a really good job against um, against cover two this year. And we'll show you this uh, real quick. So what you'll see is that this C route will, or the, uh, the, the, the flat will come over here and it's going to leave that little pocket for you to be able to hit the C route on the left side of the screen. So as you can see here, you know, just with a simple pass lead left, you don't have to freeform this necessarily. You can just throw this over here. And as you can see, it's going to put it into a nice little spot that's going to keep it away from the safety. So really the only solution um, is that they have to third or quarter the, uh, the, the, the side over there on the solo side. 
So what this is going to do now for us is our right side of the screen is going to be able to attack zone coverage relatively well. As you can see right there, that corner route to Palmer is able to be able uh, to attack zone coverage. I'll show you that real quick again. So you'll see here he's not going to get jammed. Passing that outside, you see you can put that into a nice little pocket where only your receiver um, can actually catch this football. So we're able to attack on the left side of the field and on the right side of the field with the play corner strike. The other thing that we're able to do with this play is we're able to force them to have to play hard flats. And once they start to have to play hard flats, now you're going to see again, my corner route is going to be in a lot better of a spot to be able to consistently win. So now they're getting into this position where they're having to double flat or they're having to run match coverage. So if your opponent is going to run match coverage, one of the most popular match coverages is cover six, which is cover four to one side and cover two to the other side. But again, we talked about it already, how corner strike does a really good job at kind of getting into this little pocket of course, I butchered the pass league there. But against cover six, typically cover six is going to come with a soft squat zone on the uh, solo receiver side. So you'll get something like this right here where they're going to suck down to our flat route. And then you're going to be able to throw that right there right to the sideline just like as you see right there. So as you can see, this really does a good job of breaking down zone coverage. Now, um, the other thing that I forgot to show you is against man-to-man, -man, uh, a lot of times what will happen on this play play is this corner route to the right side will basically get bumped and then as you can see the practice mode sheds are absolutely incredible um you know but this this uh this corner route over here to the right side is going to get bumped and then he's going to typically get a nice little outside release that's pretty decent against against man-to-man -man coverage as you can see there he had a little step to the outside again if i can master my free form passing i'd be a completely different human um, in this game as i'm still kind of working on it um you know but you can see here the value of corner strike not only against zone but against man it gives you another corner route that is going to be able to you know beat man coverage to the outside so they can't just key in on the slot receiver and that's really the the big time key for this play this year is that they can't key in on uh, Keenan Allen. Obviously, we have flood plays with a corner route to him, but you see here we also can throw you know, this route to Palmer, and um, he's going to be able to, generally speaking, uh, be in a good spot to get separation. So, you know, you have the corner. If you want to put your tight end on an out route to give you an additional read against man-to-man, -man, you'll see that he will get open as well. And then look how it creates these natural rubs for this corner route that I finally was able to throw an accurate ball to. So this play can break down man and zone really, really well. Um, if you wanted to have a little bit more protection from this, this is actually not a bad setup right here, something like this. This gives you a high low read on the left side and then it also gives you those reads over to the middle uh, that we can attack the defense with as well so the reason this might be good is again if they're running a lot of cover three and they're kind of trying to drop their zones back you could do something like this and bring that drag across late and it can get into a position where again they're going to have to hard flat right and then once they start to have to hard flat then you know it's going to open up everything else on this play so you know this play is really designed to break down zone and give you a couple reads against man that will be very effective so this combined with a lot of the other plays in the formation of the bunch playbook um, out of the Steelers playbook is really really effective I want to thank you for watching this video if you want to get my full gun bunch offensive ebook make sure to join our patreon down in the description it's only 10 bucks to sign up and it gets you access to all of our ebooks as well as all of the updates to those ebooks that we are going to be including here in the next couple weeks for the Steelers ebook thanks for watching if you want to join the patreon Head on down to the description below, click the link down below, and hopefully we'll see you over at the Patreon page.